everyone, welcome back to another yoga practice with our trusty strap. If you don't have a strap, you can use a belt or a tie or even like a long towel. And this is gonna be quite a uh, strong practice. There's gonna be some strong back bends in there. I'm gonna be teaching you a dancer's pose with the strap and also king pigeon. So just be mindful that that is coming up. One thing that I will say with the strap is that it's really easy to uh, overdo it and over effort and like try and yank yourself into a pose. Like I know that I have in the past have been guilty of that. And um, that is something, but it's, it's not yoga. So we don't wanna be forcing ourselves, yanking ourselves, potentially injuring ourselves with this strap. So just be mindful of that. Uh, have that idea of ahimsa, non-harming within our practice. Um, let's start seated. So. Bring the strap in front of you. You can just have it kind of tidily in front of you. And then come to a cross-legged position. Let's just take a moment of stillness before we get moving, um, just to kind of settle in and check in with how we're doing today. So close off the eyes. Take a breath to settle into your seat. Taking this next portion of our day to tune out from the outside world to allow us to tune in to whatever's going on within us today. So checking in with that internal landscape, that internal weather. And however we're feeling, let's just be really mindful of that in our practice today. Always moving through our practice with this loving kindness towards ourselves. And then let's come to the breath, breathing in and out of the nose, steady breath. Steady, even breathing is what we're going for through this practice. So the moment that we start to lose that, that's the moment that we've gone too far. Softening through the face, the jaw. And then when you're ready, blinking the eyes open. Awesome, let's start. So we're gonna come onto our sitting bones, grab a hold of your strap, and we're gonna come into a boat pose from here. So big toes on the mat to start with, hands can be on the back of the thighs. Lift up through the chest, you can stay here. Maybe we lift the toes and we are here. Maybe we take the strap and we have the hands out in front. So we want to be making sure that energy is through our core here and not in our hip flexors. Now, funky transition, take a breath. As you exhale, you're gonna bring your right knee into the chest, Come it, bring it over the strap. Good, and then bring it on back. Let's do the same with the left. So knee to chest, over the top of the strap, and then bring it back underneath. Good, we're gonna do this with both feet now. So inhale, exhale, knee to chest, lengthen out the legs in front. Good, into the chest and then lengthen. Make sure the core is doing the work and not the hip flexors. Good, so we're firing up that core uh, for our practice. Lovely. Let's do one more over the top and then underneath. Awesome, cross the feet. We're gonna roll over through our feet. Placing the hands down, let's come to an all fours position. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath our hips. Let's start to warm up through the spine. So inhale, drop the belly, stretch that front side. And as you exhale, round it on out. Push the shoulder blades in towards the sky. Lovely, inhale, dropping the belly, stretch the core that we've just warmed up. Exhale, round it on out. Good, inhale to a neutral place now. And then extend your right leg back in space as your left hand floats forward. So find your balance here. Bending the right knee, you're gonna grab for the foot with your left hand and then pushing the foot into the hand, coming into a little back bend, opening up through the front of the left shoulder and the right quad here. So as it's gonna be quite back back bend heavy, this is quite a nice warm up. So use that right glute as well. Lovely, breath in. 
And then as you exhale, hand comes down, knee comes down, opposite side. Extend the left leg back, float the right hand forwards. Good, and then finding the balance, bend the knee, reaching for the foot. And then foot into the hand, hand into the foot. Breathing here, remember steady, even breathing. We never want to lose that. Good. As you exhale, hand comes down, knee comes down. Good. Spread the fingers wide. Let's find our first downward facing dog. Sending the sit bones back and up into our downward facing dog. Awesome. Inhale, ripple forwards to high plank. As you exhale, lower to the tummy. Use the knees if you need or come down in one long line. Nose to mat. Untuck the toes. Hands, palms facing down next to the hips. Inhale, lift everything off the mat. Warm up the back. Neck is long, exhale lower. Two more like this, inhale lift. Point the toes, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale lower, it's very subtle. Don't worry if you don't come up all that high. Inhale. And exhale. Good, hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes. Push up to a plank, breathe in. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Awesome. Begin to walk the feet towards the hands. Let's come into a nice gentle forward fold. So let's bring the feet together, but bend the knees and then let the head go. Really, really let that head go. Wonderful. And then bending the knees a lot. So the knees come down to the mat, untuck the toes, and we're in this kneeling position. So you want to grab your strap now. Take it nice and wide. You want to keep your arms straight. We did this in the last um, variation of this practice. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, them back. So you want to keep the arms straight. Give yourself more space on the strap if you can't keep the arms straight. And then just roll through this a couple of times. Keep the core engaged. Wonderful. So just kind of mobilizing the shoulders. Good. And then wherever you are, let's come to a place where the arms are out overhead. So you feel that nice stretch through the waist. Take a breath. And then as you exhale, come over to one hand side. Feel that nice side stretch. So you're like almost like pulling yourself over, but not too much. Good. Inhale, center. Exhale, let's go to the opposite side. Wonderful. Inhale, center. And then as you exhale, bring the uh, strap down in front of you, tuck the toes. Let's come to a forward fold. So rolling over the feet, nice forward fold. Good, from here, you're gonna grab your strap. You're gonna place it around the ball of your right foot, like this. And it's almost like uh, you're starting up a lawnmower, or what I imagine how you would start up a lawnmower. Not, not that I've ever done it, but <laughs> bring your left hand to your left hip, and then you're gonna bend the right knee and bring it in towards the armpit. So inhale, come on up. You're standing on your left foot. Good, so really establish yourself on that left foot. Wonderful. From here, you're gonna begin to straighten the leg making sure that the bicep is doing a little bit of work. Core is engaged, so we're not relying on the strap wholly. We're still using that uh, core to keep us nice and lifted and supported. Wonderful. And then taking the leg out to the side as far as we can without turning the body. Maybe the left hand floats away. Drawing the belly in, stand tall, stand proud. Really nice. Then bring your left hand back to your left hip if it's not there already. You're going to bend your right knee. And then this time you're going to roll the knee down. So the strap is going to be like here now. Good. From here, you're going to bring the strap over your shoulder like a backpack almost. So it's, we're getting a quad stretch now. We're coming into a dancer's pose. So just be mindful that we don't pull or over effort too much. So we still want to engage the back muscle. So squeeze the shoulder blades together. Use your right glute to lift your right big toe up. And then we're going to raise the strap overhead. Maybe the, the left hand comes to the strap as well. And then now we want to make sure we're engaging through the muscles. We're not just pulling on the strap and like 
forcing ourselves into the shape. We're slowly and mindfully walking our fingers down the strap, but nice and slow so you can check in with your breathing. So where do you start to lose the breath? You need to back off from that space. But if you're breathing freely and calmly, maybe we can walk our fingers a little bit closer towards the strap, towards the foot. And then let's breathe here, wherever we are. Lovely, squeezing that right glute. Take a breath. And as you exhale, the exit needs to be really, really slow. So slowly slide your hands down the strap. It needs to be really slow. We don't want to aggravate the back. Good. And then bringing the strap down, we're going to roll the chin to the chest, bend the knees, and slowly come down to a forward fold. Really nice, everyone. Let the head go. Just let that settle within the body. Hmm. Notice how your right and your left side maybe feel a lot different right now. Good. And we're going to bring the strap around the ball of our left foot. We're going to do it all again on the left. So right hand to right hip. You're going to bring the left knee in towards the left armpit. Stand on that right foot. Inhale, come on up. Nice. So establish yourself here and then begin to straighten the leg forward. And as you do that, if your leg needs to be low and here, that's, that's allowed. It's still allowed. Otherwise, if you've got the flexibility in the hamstring and the strength in the core to lift that leg here, be here. Chest is proud. So imagine your back is like resting onto a wall. Good, and then taking the foot out to the left. You might hear a pop in the hip. <laughs> Maybe your right hand floats away. Keep that standing leg strong and rooted. Remembering to engage through the core so we're not just hanging out with the strap. Good, and then bending that left knee. We're gonna drop the knee down towards the earth, flip the strap over to the top of the foot and then flip it over as if we're holding a backpack. So let's just take a moment to establish here. So really kind of strengthen up through your right leg and then squeeze your left bum cheek as if your left big toe is gonna point up to the sky. So before we've even started pulling the strap, we're engaging through that glute. Good, squeeze the shoulder blades together and then lifting the strap up, hooking onto the toes. Same thing on this side. So. Just be mindful that we're not kind of forcing ourselves. You want to be able to breathe and even talk. So it's a good uh, test for me, actually, that if I, can't, if I stop being able to talk, then I've gone too far. And then breathe where you are. Fix your focus. Make sure we're engaging through that left glute, engaging through the back muscles. Good, one more breath. Don't worry if you fall out of it. <laughs> and then as you exhale, slide your hands down the strap nice and slowly. There's no sharp movements here. Good, releasing the strap. So it drop to the floor and then chin to chest. Roll it down for that luscious forward fold. Awesome. <sighs> Good, from here, hands down. Let's come to an all fours position. Let's go for King Pigeon. So right knee to right wrist, bring the foot over to the left. Now, if you want to prop up with a block underneath your bum cheek, you are so welcome to. It's quite helpful, particularly when we are um, working into King Pigeon. And then walk that back foot back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. See how this is like really similar to dancer's pose. So that back bend is very, very similar. Nice. Good, from here, we're gonna bend into the back knee. We're going to grab a hold of the foot with the left hand and then just take gentle, gentle pulls. Now at this point you might want to prop up this right glute. This is quite nice for support and balance, but totally optional. Good. And whilst we're here and the foot is kind of close to us, you're going to grab your strap. You're going to lasso it around your foot, the top of the foot. And then same thing. So the strap is going to come over your shoulder like a backpack and then over the head. Good, see how we go here. So squeezing the shoulder blades together, elbows pointed up to the sky. You might wanna 
lose the block at this point, you might want to stay with it. Breathing here. Opening up that front side. Go to a place where you can breathe freely. Don't rush it, don't force it. Lovely, one more breath cycle here. And then as you exhale, slowly slide your hands down the strap, extra slowly with this one. If you move too quick, you'll know about it. So nice and slow. Good. Let, let get the strap off your back foot. And then we're going to transform this into a forward fold. So walking the hands forwards. Maybe you just rest onto the forearms. Maybe your forehead gets all the way down. Breathe into that lumbar spine. You should feel a nice release here. Really well done. Wonderful. Come back up onto your hands and come back to all fours. And then let's do the opposite side. Maybe take a little shimmy out in between. Good. Left knee to left wrist. Left foot to the right. And slide that back foot back. Just take a moment to settle in. Decide if you want props on this side. If you don't, squeeze in the shoulder blades together. Just see how that feels like before we get going with the strap. And then bending the back knee. Let's reach for the foot and just take a few gentle pulls just to open out through the quad. Lightly coaxing, wonderful. And then let's lasso the strap around the top of the foot, over the shoulder, up to the sky, and then walking the hands back. So notice if you're gr uh, gritting your teeth, relax the face. Breathe into that heart space. I know with back bends, uh, the breath starts to kind of shorten. See if we can keep it calm. Breathe where you are. You're exactly where you need to be today. Some days we can get quite deep in the pose, other days not, and it doesn't really matter. Let's take one more breath. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly, exit, exit, slowly, slowly, slowly. Bringing the hands down. Let go of the strap around the foot. We're done with the strap, pop it to one side. And then transform it into a forward fold. So maybe to forearms, maybe all the way down. Notice how you feel. Notice what came up in the pose for you. So were you over efforting even when we agreed that we wouldn't do that at the beginning of the practice are we trying too hard and maybe that's a reflection of how we are off the yoga mat as well maybe really nice come back up onto the hand let's come to all fours bring the big toes together and then settling back into child's pose so really giving that lower back a little bit of a rest so hands can act as a little pillow couple of breaths here calm it down slow it down noticing how you feel now and then slowly coming up to a seated position keeping the eyes closed Take a breath in to sit a little taller. And as you exhale, softly sigh it out. Relax the jaw, the shoulders, come back to a sense of ease. Bringing the hands together at heart center. Blinking the eyes open. Thank you so much for sharing this practice with me today. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know how you get on with this strap. There's some really difficult poses in there. So be careful with yourselves. Give it time. Give it practice. Practice, practice, and all is coming. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.